Par pranams at the lotus feet of my Guru, Bhagwan Shri Sat Sai Baba. And we are heading towards afternoon, but still a very good morning to all of you. Now, before I start with what we are going to talk about, I joined this institution six years ago as medical superintendent here. And when I went round for a hospital round, I thought it was an easy job. But everywhere I see computers, sister telling me about patients, and I was computer illiterate. It became a big problem for me. And I thought, if everybody knows the medical superintendent of this hospital is still dependent on records and registers, we can fool her any time they like. What to do? I went to the computer section and started learning the ABC of computers. And I am glad to inform you that I can use them as much as I want for my needs. That is the impact of IT that it has become so user-friendly. I won't disclose my age, but looking at my appearance, you can all see that we can learn this at any age. It has become so simple and so, I would say, child to old age friendly that it has become a boon on our lives. Let us talk about the importance of IT technology for an administrator. You see, to my mind, it has become the backbone of hospital administration. It enables evidence-based administration. By ad evidence-based, I mean that whatever I wish to look at is in front of me, and it is strictly evidence-based. It is not communicated to me orally or by hearsay. We have around 600 reports on reports portal, which is a huge amount of information that one administrator who knows moderate amount of IT technology at click of the button can look into it. Now, these are, I'll not go through all this, but this is one of the formats of our reports, about 600 reports that I've been talking about. Then, what are the areas of usage for an administrator? We can monitor clinical administration. We can look into the human resource department of our institution. With these stores, what is the material management, financial management, and we can audit clinical as well as general audit procedures by sitting on your chair by the click of the button. Then, in clinical administration, we have infection control meetings to know the information which all comes through IT data. And day-to-day -day basis also, I can get a report on to where is infection going on, in which area, what is the organism growing, and what we can do, we can just communicate to the microbiologist to react or on the situation and take immediate measures. These are some of the details of the infection control data generated by us. And this is reflected onto the dashboard and day-to-day -day monitoring of this can happen in my office. This is the mortality report. And when mortality report is discussed in the patient care committee, it gives us an indication that the files have been thoroughly analyzed, completed, and the final comment, no case of professional negligence or incompetence seen, means our mort mortality files are perfectly maintained, they have been analyzed, and that data comes to everybody. Anybody can look at this data and see what has been the mortality rate and that it has been justified. We have a similar data raised for the long-stay patients. The, not only 
How many patients have stayed more than expected or cut off line and the cause thereof is also reported? And at the patient com care committee meeting, all these reports are analyzed where justification does not seem to be reasonable. That case is discussed. And I can also politely tell my doctors to be more careful because every excess day, extra day in the hospital costs us money. So all this is because of the IT that such an information is gathered, analyzed, and remedy thought of. Then we also utilization of patient care infrastructure, how much we have utilized the infrastructure provided for each patient, the theater time wasted, not wasted, doctors reporting in time, all that is reported and we are able to monitor the correct utilization of the infrastructure that is provided for patient care. Next. The lab reports are similarly analyzed whether the equipment is adequately used or not. Then the most important part, the statistics at a glance, you can compare with the previous year, you can compare with the previous month, and the reasons for increase and decrease have to be justified. And also this gives us good medium to know that how we are comparing with the other hospitals if we have a similar data from the Parthi hospital also. The same data is presented to the board of trustees so that they can also look into the statistics of the institution. So these are general statistics. Then the demographic profile of patients can well be analyzed and as you have seen, based on the large number of patients coming from Odisha and West Bengal, we are able to set up facilities like telemedicine center. I won't go into those details because you already have seen that. We can skip this. So both the telemedicine and Sai Rehab program in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala for post-operative patients for follow-up, we are in contact with a volunteer doctor there who, to whom the patients go and report, gets to us on e email on the INR values and any other advice that can be exchanged with the doctor and he can explain to the patient. They save a lot of money in not traveling that distance to just check up on the INR report and the dosage to be given to them. Next. Then. My material management is very important. The unusual consumption that results, we are working on a program where we have set standards for uh, every procedure where consumption is recorded, consolidated, and any unusual consumption is brought out and we take a look into this unusual consumption on a patient, we fix a range between minimum and maximum, and when there is a spike, the reason for this consumption is analyzed. At the same time, it gives me a chance to see if the consumption that is there really happened. Certain cases of wrong consumption being registered is also checked and monitored on a regular basis. Then comparison, each patient's consumption and comparison can also be drawn as you can see in this format. Next. Then each department is allocated budget and that budget can be monitored with the help of the IT. Anybody that succeed, uh, exceeds the budget from months to month onwards is monitored. They are sent a uh, letter to say that you have exceeded your quota this month so that they can monitor it next month, bringing the annual revenue budget of the department as we have allocated them. So this data is very useful. Sitting in my office, I can see whether a department is overusing its allocated amount and they are accordingly advised and counseled.
than human resource. Reports to monitor productivity of doctors based on number of surgeries each doctor has performed, type of surgeries each doctor has performed, and OPD consultations, etc. So we monitor the productivity of each doctor. Similarly, we also see whose patients are long staying, whose patients have had maximum complications, counsel the doctor accordingly, and look whether the target selected by that particular doctor were correct, procedure adopted was correct, and the chairperson then advises the doctors accordingly. Then productivity of the technician is also available that can be measured. Not only this helps us to get into touch, but their performance record also can be that annual performance report can also be adjusted according to these parameters because the director doesn't review everybody's performance. It is by the reporting officer, but by these parameters, I can modify my review of a particular person on the annual performance report. Reports on frequent absenteeism, etc., are also available at the click of button with me so that I can counsel my staff accordingly. Frequent absentees, etc., are all noticed and the administration is streamlined in terms of punctuality. I would like to conclude that it's a powerful tool for effective and efficient administration. And as it is said, that if you don't see a person, he or she is always on your mind, right? So earlier, if we take rounds, then a presence is felt and things are corrected. But now everybody's mind it is there that the director is watching in the office and it really improves the efficiency of the staff. We're running short of time, I think, some of the applications I have mentioned, and there is a lot of scope to enlarge on these applications. Thank you very much for the patient hearing.